The Nigerian Exchange Limited sustained a rising trend at the end of yesterday's transactions as the market capitalization increased further by 53 billion naira. The all share index rose by 96.46 points, representing an increase of 0.20% to close at 48,366.69 points, while the overall market capitalization closed at 26.34 trillion naira. The upturn was impacted by gains recorded in medium and large capitalized stocks, amongst which are Bois Cement, Ecobank Transnational Incorporated, ETI, NASCON Allied Industries, Nigerian Exchange, and Champion Breweries. Market sentiment, as measured by market breadth, was positive as 16 stocks gained relative to 13 decliners. However, the total volume of trades decreased by 71.16% to 184.65 million units, valued at 3.572 billion naira, and exchanged in 3,189 deals. To help us look at this number, we're joined by Ambrose Omodio, the Chief Research Officer in Vezita Consulting. He joins us via the telephone. Good to have you join us today, Ambrose. Yes, having me. How are you? Very well, thank you. And you? Yeah. All right, so I'm talk to fine. us. Ab All right. Talk to us about the uh, rally at the market yesterday. Yeah, actually, I would say that the, the good sentiment and uh, the strong momentum in the market has continued for a straight three days. It tells you that uh, investors are taking advantage of end of the year criminality, positioning for open action in the month of January and February and uh, March 2023. The good thing is that most of the companies on the exchange, as to speak, they have a good uh, dividend yield, and that is attraction for now. But one thing I invest should have in mind that it's not the time to play calculate, but rather have an investment objective. Once you reach your profit target, you need to take profit. Don't be carried away by the upside market at all. That's what investors should do now. Yeah, you don't need to you know, be carried away with the upside market. Take advantage of the market and take profit. As a trader or investor, as a trader, you can set your profit target and uh, you don't want to cash out at the right time. All right. Well, we saw gains in Boisement, Eco Bank, and GX, and NASCON. You know, this pushed up. Uh, you know, their respective uh, sectors. Talk to us about uh, these sectors. Is there, is there a prospect? Or are there prospects in these sectors? I, I would say that uh, you know the industrial goods sector, the cost of the social gap for having, and also the in uh, housing, was been that sector to continue to to look up. Especially at the expanded capacity was to also to impact the world that bought online. We saw the that came from the you know the operators in that industry, especially from Boa, you know, Wapco and uh, Dango Placement. I can say you know, on the on the strength of the figures that uh Boa has performed most of the company in that industry in terms of uh, top line and bottom line and that has also reflected on their on their earnings. That investor are taking advantage of that, seeing that for the last uh, you know a month. From the month of uh, uh, October to date, when we are thought as low as uh, 47 naira, now we are trying to decrease at almost 82 naira. That means in the last two months, the stock have almost given an investor about above 80%. It tells you those numbers that are coming to the market are also what the investors are seeing for capital appreciation and also for dividend payment. For who are yes, on the strength of their number, but now we see impressive dividend, dividend payout, or we can see. On the 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 Capital position is there for investors, but only here and the delay might not be attractive, but the price has gone up at this price. Any potential go on now is looking for capital reserve because the whole million, what you pay last year compared to your earnings and the end of the year, I can't expect much more than you from the damage you are entering there for capital reserve. But for investors to pay it, now that it has broken out a new level of uh, almost uh, 85, 82, you better to look for another alternative in that industry and position. All right. Well, we're looking at the activity chart, which was red. You know, it was in the red yesterday. We saw the trading volume, value, and number of deals depreciate by, you know, 71.37%, 14.76%, and even 8.52%. Uh, what are your thoughts? 
No, what you saw is that the key market forces and sentiment that we that we see. Yes, we are seeing despite the red uh, pushing machine, on average there's also increased buying volume gradually on the market. So what we saw yesterday is that you know, there's a trend of people trying to represent that position. But if you look on the other side, what we'll market sentiment, we're having about seventy five percent buy position and just five percent sell position at the end of the day. It's a buyers are still controlling the market. For me, the decline in volume or the value does not more but I believe that we saw a little improvement on volume on the average. Uh, uh, so let's have your final thoughts to investors. <laughs> no, investors, you know, being the, you know, the end of the year, like I said earlier, any position, you know, against um, you know, corporate action in 2023 is good. But because the election is drawing closer, also the manifesto, you know, or the manifesto of this, uh, you know, the presidential candidate also reports that they are all going to address our economy and also, you know, the other challenges we are having. Tells that once we get the election right, and after the election, we're going to see what comes to the election rally in the market. Because we expect to see reform going forward into the new year, and that also be convenient to you know, foreign investors if you get to try to come back to our nation for the next four years where there'll be stability before another round of election again. All right, thank you so much for sharing your thoughts with us on the show today, Ambrose. Thanks for having me. All right. <laughs> We've been speaking with Ambrose Samodio, the Chief Research Officer at Investita Consulting. And when we come back from this break, the Central Bank of Nigeria has imposed free, fresh cash withdrawal limits on individuals and organizations. When we come back, we'll look at the implication of this policy on businesses and individuals. Stay with us. <laughs> 